Mr. Uh, Madam Deputy Fowler, Speaker. Fowler, I beg your pardon. I, um, Madam Deputy Speaker, for many, myself included, Gough Whitlam was not only an inspiration, but was for the very reason for our enthusiasm for Labor politics. I had the honour of representing the electorate of Werriwa, which was held by uh, Gough Whitlam throughout his political career. He was a man of vision, and certainly a vision for Australia's future. One who is not prepared to be constrained by the traditional historical ties, but prepared to venture into, uh, into new frontiers. Being the first Western leader of a major political party to, to visit China was not only groundbreaking at the time, but paved the way for current day relationships, not only with China, but for Australia and its relationships throughout West, uh, the Western uh, or the Asian region. Goff became the member for Wera in 1952, and following a redistribution, he and his wife Margaret and their family moved to uh, Albert Street, Cabramatta, in 1955. By the way, that's a fact that's still quoted to me today by many of the more elderly residents at Cabramatta. Uh, when he became the member for Werriwa, the boundaries of the electoral map were much different than they are today. As I say, his, his, his residence in Albert Street is just down the road from my electoral office uh, in Fowler. I have the honour of uh, reminding Gough on many occasions that uh, uh, representing Werriwa and now Fowler, I've represented both ends of his old electorate. Apart from meeting him on various party uh, conferences and events, it wasn't until my by-election in 2005 that I had the opportunity for a more engaged discussion uh, with Gough. Our early discussions uh, around that period were a little frosty, given the fact that I was not the person who was supporting for pre-selection for his suit of Werriwa. Uh, for a while, my meetings with Gough uh, generally involved a fair degree of um, fear and trepidation on my part, but in contrast, my wife Bernadette struck up a very close relationship with Margaret right from the start. Gough was above all a reformer. During his leadership, uh, he was able to reform and modernise the Labor Party. Madam Deputy Speaker, he made the Labor Party electable. Uh, he, uh, he had the genius of being the first major political figure to comprehend the fundamental changes necessary for Australian community. He understood what the country needed was a new political focus on education, culture, social and infrastructure needs, particularly for the work residents uh, of the expanding outer suburbs and families of working class backgrounds. My generation and those that follow are the direct beneficiaries of the Whitlam legacy. Many people I meet in the various aged care facilities in my electorate they recall the encounters with the Whitlams. Whether it is Margaret uh, teaching their kids to swim at the local pool or just having the opportunity to speak to the great man at uh, uh, various local events or branch meetings. Locally, the Whitlams were revered and much loved. Invariably, I'm told about Gough's commitment to enhance the basic infrastructure needs of the area. His campaign to establish an integrated uh, sewerage system for Liverpool and Campbelltown and the Fairfield areas is, is still firmly lodged in the mind of many of the elderly residents of the area. While current generations may have taken these uh, developments for granted, but not for the tenacity of Gough, these developments would have been some time off. When I did meet with Gough uh, in his office in Sydney, it was always like, for me, being in, in an inquisition. He always asked me about people he knew from the electorate, from local branches, as well as uh, developments that are occurring in, in the area. He was uh, always interested. He always had his finger on the pulse. Um, he did not regard Werewa as something in his distant past. This is something I learned to appreciate about Gough, not just the political giant that many have already spoken about in this place, uh, a political giant of the Labor movement, but someone who deeply cared about ordinary people. I remember uh, one uh, uh, round of discussions I had with Joff, Goff at the, in his Sydney office. Somehow we got to talking about his time in the RWF. As I recall, he, he was uh, in the 13 Squadron. He was flying as a navigator in the, on a Ventura bomber. It wasn't, it wasn't just uh, his clear recollection of events of this period that was so impressive. What took me by surprise was his unwavering loyalty to his flight crew. He stayed in contact 
with all members of the flight crew uh, after they dispersed from, uh, from the Air Force. And uh, as a mark of the man's compassion, following the death of his pilot, he remained in contact with his widow. While it is right that we remember Gough as a great uh, of the labour movement, it is his, his attention to people and their particular circumstances that for me and for many in my electorate make him truly great. I offer my sympathies to his family. Edward Gough Whitlam, rest in peace. Thank you.